In this video, we'll be updating the NA10 on Docker. This particular installation is done. And if I show you here, I'm using Nginx reverse proxy and here is na10.syncfix.com and it, it is pointing to the IP address 10.11.12.109. I'll be accessing this using SSH. So I will go to PowerShell or any SSH client that you are comfortable with. So I'll be doing SSH Amjad and here is the IP address. So here I'm logged in sudo docker ps. So it will show me the list of all the containers that are running. And you can see here that one of the containers which is running is this particular one, which is NA10. Of course, NA10 I have installed using the Docker Compose and it has other services as well. So let me first of all show you in NA10 if you see which versions is available. So in the left panel, of course, this is the local hosted or self hosted version community edition. So that's why you will not be able to see the control panel and all of that, which you have seen in the cloud version. So I'll click on updates and you can see here there are new fixes and new releases available. So this is 1.81.4. This version is available. So we need to update this version and how I am doing it, I am doing it using Docker Compose. So if I show you here, this is NA10 1.78.1. So what I'll do here, I will just show you the list of files and I am using this particular folder where I have added Docker Compose. So I'll go to CD space NA10 and list of files you will see here Docker Compose.yaml. I have already shared this file with you so you can get started with NA10 stack using Docker Compose. So I'll be doing sudo nano docker dash compose dot yaml. Here, the image that I'm taking for NA10 1.7.8.1. Of course, I can go with latest also, but I don't want to do that. I want to only update the versions which are tested already. So here is the version, which is 1.81.4. So I will be going back here and I will be updating this to 1.81. 1.4. I will be saving this compose file. Of course, this particular Docker compose is not only having one service, which is NA10. There are other services like Postgres a database is there. Then we have the QDRunt as the database. So now because this Docker compose is running, so I have just saved it. In order to save, you will press Control X and then Y to save. Now the changes on this Docker compose is done, but right now the stack is already running. So what I'll do, I will do docker run here the command in order to stop the service or in order to down the NA10 stacks. So I will do sudo docker compose space down and it will stop the stack. And the moment it will stop the stack, of course, I won't be able to access it. You will see here it is stopping and removing the containers. It will not, of course, delete the data. The reason is because data is already stored in specific folders here. So I will just show you here. Volumes are also created. If I show you inside NA10, one folder is created NA10 and then shared folder is also created. And if I show you the content of Docker Compose also, so I will do sudo nano docker-compose.yaml. So you will see here NA10 Storage volume created, Postgres storage is created, Olama storage is created, and code QDrunt storage is created. Of course, I was using Olama also in this, but uh, it's not necessary to use that if you want to host Olama separately on a separate container. Now, we have already removed all the containers here. So, NA10 import is removed, QDrunt is removed, NA10 is removed, Postgres is removed, and NA10 syncbricks is removed. So, now when I do sudo, docker compose compose space up dash t so it will take time once it is downloaded i'll come back to you all right so there was some firewall issues so i have fixed that now i'm able to get the response from the server ping google.com and now we'll be running the command again so if i show you sudo docker compose space down now we'll be running the command sudo space docker compose space up dash t now it will start pulling the na10 image which will be the version which we have already mentioned and it will be also pulling other images so it might take time we will wait for this process to complete and i'll come back to you 
and here you can see now that all the images are pulled once n8 and import will be completed then the n8 and container will start qdrunt is started postgres is started and here you go n8 and import is exited and n8 and started now as you have seen already earlier it was version 1.7.8 i will just refresh it and all the data is already stored in postgres so data is not deleted only the images or latest version is updated so we'll again wait for this here you go n is loading now and now i can click on help about n you can see here 1.81.4 this is the latest version which is available and you can see here all the data is already there all the credentials are already there so this was about updating n if you have set up n using docker so this is the method to update the n to the latest version so let us continue to next video now and let us explore n